Right. Uh, that's special. And I feel like it's it's sort of not luck, but it's it's rare. I feel like a lot of a lot of players in the transfer portal end up going somewhere, and, and it's not a better fit for them, or it, the situation doesn't work out. I feel like I was one of the lucky ones in um, San Diego State. I mean, they made it almost seamless for me. Um, it made me feel like I was family, and I've been here for four years. Um, through the adjusting period, ups and downs, through it all, they stuck with me, and I think that's that's a big thing uh, as well. Uh, they stuck with me even through my ups and downs, and so I couldn't have asked for a better coaching staff and a, and a better recruiting um, recruiting staff, and it made me feel at home. Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, when I came on my visit, he definitely uh, mentioned that they need some, you know, uh, lights out shooters from the perimeter and, and just stuff to uh, guys who are going to expand uh, the paint for Adama to work in there and and uh, you know drag guys out so he has more room, more room to operate. So um, it was definitely a, a key for them in the off season and something that they were looking for. Um, we brought in a great group of guys who could shoot the lights out of the ball and. Um, you know, just a great group of guys that they brought in, obviously, who are, you know, contributing heavily to this uh, this program this year. So it's just been great, and they did a great job in the portal this offseason. Yeah, I mean, the uh, I think the portal's uh, been great for a lot of programs in college basketball. You know, we got a lot of mid-majors, obviously two of them who are uh, um, playing in the Final Four this year. Um, so it just changes the whole landscape of everything, and um, it just gives guys more opportunity to go somewhere else and find that right fit for them.